As your teacher mentioned, um, my name is Ward Johnson, and I do work out at Intel. Um, and Intel is very close. We're actually, in fact, almost neighbors. We're just right down the street. I work at the Hawthorne Farms. Uh, my name is Ward Johnson, and I'm part of the National Engineers and Technicians Month. And at Arentco Elementary, I'll be doing a show for uh, the fifth grade class of Mrs. Williams. And we're actually going to program a computer code for a robot to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Um, I really like to get out and have an opportunity to kind of uh, speak to the kids that are out there, get them energized about engineering, tell them that getting involved today, staying in school, and uh, participating in science programs and many other things are going to be the path that will get them to a possible career um, in science or, or in things that they may be interested in. I like that. Very good. The founders of our company instilled an ethic around being an asset to our communities. And we focus most of our philanthropy and volunteerism around improving math, science, engineering, and technology education because we want to train the future engineers to who could come back and work with us at Intel. And we know that those kinds of people end up being community leaders as well. I feel actually very humbled to be part of this company and be able to promote and run a program, a volunteer program like this. It's humbling to see the amount of work and dedication our volunteers put in the community. It's incredible. We are a very large corporation. We're the number one private employer in Oregon. I think it's important to lead by example, being part of our community, giving back to the community, back to the people that made us successful in the first place. We're a global company, but our heart is right here in Hillsborough. And we volunteer in the community because that's what our employees want to be doing with their extra time. Most recently, the Vernonia flood relief efforts really hit close to home. We immediately mobilized our volunteers. We had a two-day food and clothing drive. We filled an entire semi-truck. We had 50 volunteers jump on a bus and we headed out to Vernonia. We delivered those items and on that same day they had us go down into the area of Vernonia that was most affected by the flooding and we did some community outreach. We went door to door. We helped them check on the, the, the neighbors and the residents there. In some cases, this was the first time some of these residents had been contacted. And so that experience for our volunteers and for us was very impactful. And today we still have hundreds of volunteers still going out there. I would say the joy that comes from volunteering in the community and the reflection that, that it provides to the company that enables those volunteers to go out into the community is really what makes Intel a great place to work. We have 15,500 employees here in Oregon. We gave 50,000 volunteer hours in 2007 and over $5 million back out into the community because of those generous employees.